Hmm. Hi, everybody. A little bit early, so we'll give it a minute to get things up and running. And I need to find something. Let's see. Yeah, looks like it doesn't let me edit the title. So the typos are the typos. Now, does it let me see? I want to do it that way. All right, that lets me see me. Well, let me see the chat box. Is there questions? There's questions, that's what I wanted. All right. Hey, Joan, I see you here. Can you type in a question just so I see if that's working before I get started? Because I need to see if I can keep track of everything at once. Hmm. <laughs> Do I need to do that? Well, I think, let's see, pre live live. Bit rates going, polls I'm not doing, questions. So I need that setup one, then we'll switch to questions. And we'll give it one more minute to get started. All right, let's get this. going. All right, there's that. And we'll do the questions. Well, I don't know what all that is then. Uh, no, no, no. All right, well, that's three o'clock. Let's start that.
and let's start this. Hi, everybody. I'm starting right on time, so hope everyone can catch up as need be. Welcome to the uh, the Clay Buddies Summit, uh, looking at all sorts of wonderful different things uh, in ceramics as we've been left stuck here at home. Uh, I am Matt Katz, and I'm happy to be here. Thanks to Stacy for the, uh, the invite to come and talk to you all. My, my talk's going to be a little bit different than everybody else's. Uh, we've had a lot of great makers coming through so far, but I'm a little bit different. Um, I am a professor of glaze science. Yes, we actually exist. There's not many of us, but I'm a professor of glaze science, uh, and I teach at a whole bunch of different universities, my main home base being Alfred University, which is a place some of you may have heard of, which is a school that is dedicated to the study of ceramics, both art and science uh, specifically. And uh, I study glazes. Uh, that's what I do, and I teach about how glazes really work. Um, so I teach at Alfred University. I also teach at the Rhode Island School of Design, and I teach at Harvard University. I teach at uh, Montana State University and all sorts of different places. And um, so I spend all my time uh, uh, just researching and studying glazes, how they work and all of that. So we are going to go into depth about a cool sort of nerdy topic about what is the science, what is the, what is it that we need to understand about glaze application. Um, so uh, just a couple of notes, those of you who are watching along, uh, I'm about to go to a screen share. I'm going to be using notes from PowerPoint. Hi, everybody. I see the chats coming through. Um, uh, uh, if there are questions, um, please hold on to them till the end. I swear we'll get to all of them, but I'm having a hard time lecturing and getting through all the the questions. So I'll do my best, but it's a bit hard to talk and to do it. Hey, Lois, I see you and Tim's there. Yeah, Tim posted my website, Strand Materials Workshop, to learn more about who I am and what I do and uh, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I am going to be doing a screen share here. In fact, I'm going to kick that into place right now. So if you are watching, uh, you probably want to, uh, it, it's going to be best on a computer screen. Um, but you may want to put me into landscape mode. Are you going to need a notepad? <laughs> so he asks, it might not hurt. Uh, I'm all about that information. So we'll do what we can. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be information rich. So, um, we'll, we'll dive in now. So, uh, like I said, glaze application is a funny little subject because we all have different perceptions of what glaze is and how we work with glaze, um, uh, depending on what we make and how we make and uh, how we work with glaze. But when we break down, break it down, there are really three major ways of working with glaze, okay? Um, and those are going to be a dip, so just straight up taking a pot and dipping it into the glaze. We can brush on our glazes or we can spray our glazes. And the thing to understand is that they're all doing basically the same thing. And that's to put a thin coat of minerals on the surface of our clay that we're then going to fire and melt into glaze. Glass, and that is what our materials really are. They are a thin coat of minerals. Now there's lots of different minerals out there. There are some naturally occurring minerals. There are some refined natural minerals and there are some chemically manufactured minerals, but they're all the same basic thing. They are minerals that are uh, going to be combined to make a glaze. Now, of course, the greater question is what is a glaze? And we all see it differently. Um, some of us have only ever worked with commercial glazes. Of course, those are the jars that our studios are all full of. I have to say, I don't use a lot of commercial glazes, but my wife and I do a lot of consulting work. And we're recently working on a job where we had to uh, uh, um, match a commercial glaze. So we bought some bottles of the glaze. And I have to point out this detail here. I love this on this commercial glaze. It's got a little emblem that says kiln required. I do absolutely love that. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll get them from a, a bottle or a jar, but sometimes we mix our own and we'll have a big bucket. And that happens as you start making more pots or if you uh, have your own studio and you need to make up a lot of glaze on your own. Of course, glazes are pretty easy to make on your own. You just need some right the right materials and some good formulas, but that's a topic for 
another time, but they're all the same thing. Whether it's a brushing glaze or a bottled glaze, a studio glaze, they're all made up of the same things chemically. And of course, we have to come back to the even greater technical question of what is a glaze uh, physically, of course. What a glaze really is, is that it's a thin coating of glass that we put on the surface of a pot. Now, I am going to use the term pot for the rest of this talk. It's no offense to sculptors. I, in my making, am a sculptor. Um, but generally, when we talk about glazes, we talk about pots. But it's a very, very thin coating of glass that we put on the surface of our pots. And it's super thin. It's about 50 to 500 microns, depending on how thick the glazes in a couple of variables. Just for reference, that is, uh, 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 I'm sorry, that a human hair is about 100 microns in diameter. And what we see here on the screen is a rather cool pair of SEM images. This is from my friend Dave Finklenberg. Dave uh, did his ceramic engineering thesis uh, 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 on uh, glazes. And this is from his thesis. And what we are looking at uh, is, in fact, the cross section of a glaze. Oh, I'm getting a note that the slides aren't available. Um, hmm. Let's see, is anybody else not seeing the slides? Um, hmm. I did the screen share option on the live producer. This tells me I am screen sharing slides. Anybody else? TikTok, TikTok. Hmm. Ariana, I see you there. Can you drop in a chat? Do you see? No, I mean, I'm screen sharing. It says that the live producer is screen sharing and I see it as my screen share. Let me try one thing. We'll do that. Of course, technical issues. <laughs> Not seeing them. Just me. Uh, no, I don't want to click on me live. Why is it doing this? The producer, well, let me try to share the screen. Anybody? Let's see, turn off the screen share. Hmm. What is going on? Let's try one more time. Let's see. Anybody? It's all right, Tim says. Can you see the slides? Hey, Tim, can you hit me in a private chat just so I can get a live update? Because I'm not seeing it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Well, no, I did put the screen in the live stream video. That's the problem. Facebook or chat says uh, it's showing me my screen being shared. That's the problem. Yeah, turn it off and turn it on again. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Oh, now it all froze up. No, nope, I need that. And then Facebook crashes, of course. Well, now Facebook just...